Hello and welcome to State Listings Inc., the home of my state MLS and New York State MLS. My name is Dave. Welcome to today's webinar. And today we're going to be taking a look at growing your business in 2020. Can you believe it? Just a couple weeks left of the year. And soon we're going to be gearing up to ring in the new year and welcome 2020 into our lives. And what we're going to be talking about today is getting ready for that new year and how you can grow your business through a bunch of different methods, different ideas, different processes, and some stuff that you can start doing right away to get yourself ready for the new year. So some of the things you may want to think about and consider when it comes to growing your business are just a couple key things. To grow your business, you may want to bring on more agents to your firm. If you're a broker, you want to grow your business by adding more agents to your roster. Having more agents is going to bring us to our next point, which is more listings. And by doing both of those things together, we can also go ahead and expand our network. This is going to be our network of the brokers and agents that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. This is going to be expanding our network in terms of our clientele, the customers and clients that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to be able to expand our network by doing all of the things that we're going to talk about today. So how can we achieve those things? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to get more agents. First thing that we might want to do is start to hire part-time and new agents. In the past, you may have been reluctant to bring on part-time agents, bring on new agents, just because they may not have the resources you don't have time to train them. You don't want to pay the additional fees to bring on more employees that are not going to be doing as much work as your full-time roster. However, with the things that we talk about today, you're going to see why bringing on part-time agents and new agents, you're going to be doing them something really great. And that's going to show a lot on your character. And that's going to impress these new hires and these part-time agents as you're the person that gave them a chance when other brokerages may not have. Another thing that we can do to get more agents is we're going to convert our referral agents to actual just real estate agents. Uh, we've seen in the past that brokers will go ahead and create two different businesses. They'll have their main brokerage. Then they'll also go ahead and create a referral brokerage because of the rules of the way MLSs and real estate boards work. Uh, but we're going to talk about how MLS of choice and board of choice can maybe eliminate the whole idea of referral agents. Then in turn, bringing in all these new agents, these part-time agents, this could lead to more listings for your business. We also discussed expanding your network. So how can we expand your network? The first thing is to go beyond your local MLS. There are hundreds and hundreds of MLSs across the entire country. You may be part of one, you may be part of two, you may might even be part of three or four. But why not go beyond the boundaries of your local MLS? We've seen that, you know, time and time again, local MLSs, they kind of keep an, an invisible dog fence is kind of how I like to refer to it, is you've got this area that this MLS caters to, and that's the only place that you can list. If you've got a listing beyond those boundaries, some systems will not allow you to list it. So if you've got a cousin who's listing their house three counties over and they said, hey, I want you to list it for me to get it online, you can try. But depending on your system, you may not be able to list that home because your local MLS is only catered to a specific area. Thinking about going beyond the idea of your local MLS, what if you could go nationwide or statewide with your system? That's something that we can do with you and show you how to do that today. Another way to expand your network is to help your relocating customers. Let's face it, it's winter. Here in upstate New York where we're located, we see a lot of people go down south. They leave, they go to Florida, they go to the Carolinas, they're going to Texas. They're going to other states for a few months out of the year just to get out of the cold. There may be customers that you come across and, and clients that they're gonna, you're going to help them sell their house, but after you list their home, they said, all right, we're not going to buy here anymore. We're actually going to we're gonna move south. Typically or in the past, you may have just said, well, I, I wish I could help you, but good luck. But now again, let's readjust your thinking, and now don't just say goodbye to your relocating customers. Why not help them? So go ahead and do searches for them. You're going to be able to keep your relocating customers, help them do business, 
And by having your expanded network, you're going to be able to do more referral transactions. So if you've got a client that's selling their home, but they're moving away, whether they're moving on the other side of the state, across state lines, or on the other side of the country, you're going to be able to help them find a broker to work with. And you could potentially collect a referral for the home that they go ahead and buy. Even though you're not part of the actual purchase process, you're not signing any contracts with them you can still go ahead and collect a referral because you've assigned them to another agent wherever they're looking. Now, all of these things to expand your business, how can you do it and how can you do it easily? Well, the best way to do it is through my state MLS and New York state MLS. If you're not familiar with either of those systems, let's just do a quick review as to what they are. New York state MLS is a statewide MLS here in New York that covers the entire state. As I said before, there's hundreds of MLSs across the country. Here in New York, there are dozens, but instead of having to join all of these smaller local MLSs, which you can do as a licensee in New York, is you can join a statewide system and be part of a statewide MLS. New York State MLS is part of the My State MLS network. What My State MLS does is it takes that idea of a statewide MLS and it branches it out across the entire country. This gives you a nationwide MLS, which means nationwide coverage, nationwide exposure, and the ability to do referrals and work with other brokers across the entire country nationwide. And what's great about both these systems is there's no realtor board membership required. So going back to what we said before and bringing on those part-time or those new agents, part-time agents, new agents, when they get started in real estate, sometimes they don't realize all of the different fees that are required when it comes to getting started in real estate. They don't realize that there's realtor dues. They don't know that they have to pay for their MLS membership. And right out of the gate, just starting as a real estate agent or a realtor, can cost upwards of $1,500, if not more. Whereas with my state MLS, we are a very cost-effective MLS that does not require you to be a realtor member. So if you're in an area that does not have an MLS or doesn't have a local real estate board, your nearest board of realtors is you know five counties away and it doesn't really help you do your day-to-day -day business, it really just caters to those brokers closer to that main headquarters, you don't have to be part of a realtor board. It's the state that licenses you to sell real estate. The realtor board is just an additional membership that you can sign up with if you want to have that realtor designation. With my state MLS, there is no realtor um, requirement if you want to be part of your board or association, by all means, you can certainly join. My state MLS also complies with MLS of choice. This is a newer rule from the Board of Realtors that allows agents to join any MLS that they want that their broker participates in. This goes back to, again, those new agents, those part-time agents. They don't have the thousand dollars to join their local MLS. In the past, if that agent didn't join the same MLS as their broker, what would happen is that broker could be penalized, they could be fined. All of the agents from that brokerage could be blocked from logging into the MLS until that one agent signed up or paid their bill. With MLS of choice, agents now can pick any MLS that they want to that their broker participates in. My state MLS offers free broker participation. So if you're a broker and you've got an agent that does not want to be part of the local MLS, but they want to use my state MLS instead as a very cost effective alternative, you can participate opening the door, allowing that agent to be part of the system, and you're not going to be penalized and force them to have to join their local MLS. So how are we going to go ahead and expand that business? Well, we've talked about it before. We're going to go beyond our local MLS. We're going to keep those relocating customers and we're going to do those referral transactions. And to do those referral transactions, what we're going to need is a nationwide search tool. We're going to allow you to see listings outside of your local area. You're going to be able to research listings nationwide. And by doing that, you're going to be able to do those referrals and help your relocating customers move into a new home, whether it's on the other side of the state or the other side of the country, you're gonna be able to help them. We're also gonna give you those powerful listing tools. Again, My State MLS is a nationwide 
MLS, connecting you to brokers across the entire country. So not only are you going to be able to get that additional exposure with the system to have your listing in front of brokers across the country, we're also going to offer you very powerful listing syndication. We send to hundreds of sites, not only here in the U.S., but across and around the entire world. And we give you the ability to control your data. Uh, so each time you put a listing into my state MLS, you're going to be able to select which websites your listing is going to appear on. To just give you a quick idea, we send directly to Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Homes and Home Finder. We also send to about six dozen other websites through ListHub. Then we also do international syndication to about 20 different sites around the world. And as you can see there, we also have more options coming soon. Uh, we are currently finalizing contracts with a couple new syndication partners where we're looking to actually double the number of international sites that we send to, uh, as well as a couple more domestic sites here in the U.S. So you can certainly look forward to in the year 2020, not only are we helping you grow your business, we're also going to be growing ours as well and adding all of these new features and syndication options for you very, very soon. So let's go ahead and log in to the MLS. So if you're not part of my state MLS or New York state MLS, you can join at any time. Just go ahead and visit mystatemls.com. That's M-Y-S-T-A-T-E-M-L-S.com. All you have to do is click on that sign up button. That's going to take you through the process to go ahead and create your account. Accounts can be set up in as little as a couple of minutes. You can be up and running the same day and you can start putting in your listings as soon as your account is created. Once your account's all set up, you can just always log in at any time. And once you're logged in, this is what you're going to be brought to. My State MLS is a fully customizable dashboard, which gives you the ability to go ahead and modify the way your system looks and feels depending on who you are and how you do your business. You'll see across my screen, I've got all of these different widgets here. And what we can do is we can shrink these down. We can minimize them. We can also re reorder them if we'd like just to put them in a view that we like best. So again, we give you full control over how your system looks and feels, and then we're also gonna allow you to take advantage of the way My State MLS works, giving you full exposure to our members across the entire country, as well as through all of our syndication that is nationwide, and again, worldwide as well. Another great feature about My State MLS that you may want to consider when it comes to growing your business in 2020 is our CRM tool, which is going to allow you to manage all of your clients, your customers, anyone that you've had correspondence with, so you can go ahead and keep a log of everything that you've done with them. And to get to that, we can go to contacts at the top of our screen and view all of our contacts. What's great about this system is if you already have a spreadsheet of your clients, your customers saved on your desktop, maybe you've got an Excel spreadsheet, a Google Doc file, even if you've got a address book saved somewhere, we allow you to go ahead and import all of your contacts directly to your account so you can have all of their information saved to your profile so you can easily go ahead and email them listings when you need to. You can also do automatic drip email campaigns that'll send automatic emails to your contacts every time there's a new listing or a listing with a price change matching their search criteria. So as you grow your business in 2020 and you start bringing on more clients, the ability to send those automatic emails to them is a great feature. When we first started, we also talked about how you can grow your business and collect referrals and refer your relocating customers to other agents, whether they're on the other side of the state or across the country. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up Access Find here. For those unfamiliar, Access Find is a very powerful tool that we've been promoting here at My State MLS for many years now. And what this system does is this combines MLS details with public record data from across the entire country, giving you the most comprehensive search data when you do your searches. For those that have also been using for find all of these years, you'll have noticed that the system recently got a facelift. You'll see it says realtor.com professional search. When people fire this up for the first time, they think they're just being brought to the public front facing side of realtor.com. Yes, it does say realtor.com on there, but if you look, it also says professional search. And just to show you, there is a difference between realtor.com 
and the actual Pro Search. They do look slightly different, but where the difference comes in is when you start looking at the actual listings and start doing your search. What's great about Pro Search is like I said, it's powered by Realtor.com and the only way you can get access to this feature is through an MLS like My State MLS. You may be part of a local system already, but you may not have access to this system. And what it's doing is it's taking MLS data from the different MLSs across the entire country and putting it with public record data to give you a supercharged search when you're doing property research. So this is going to help you find comparables when you're getting ready to list a home for a customer. This is also going to allow you to have a very powerful search when you're going ahead and looking for your customers that are searching in your home area or even if they're deciding to relocate. So let's go ahead and just do a quick search just so I can show you how much different this actually is from regular Realtor.com or going to any other public site like Zillow or Trulia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search an area of Flora, Illinois. Just I've been working with a customer there, so I know there's a lot of different information out there. So what we're doing now is we just clicked Flora, Illinois. Of course, we could hone in our search results if we were looking by bedrooms and baths, price range like that, we could do that. But what we can do is we can actually see just from this search that a lot of the different listings here are coming from different sources. Uh, this listing here coming from RMLSA, I'm assuming that's one of the local boards in that area, whereas the listing below that uh, is actually coming from my state MLS. So we can see that even though I'm not part of this RMLS MLS, I'm still able to go ahead and look at listings for this particular property. So I'm just gonna go ahead, open up this listing. And again, while it may look like the regular front facing site of regularrealtor.com, it's what's underneath all of this that shows us how powerful this tool is. So again, we can see all of the photos for the listing, that's great. But what's really cool is we've got the contact information for the listing agent right at the top. So again, I'm not part of this local MLS, but I see this listing. I think it's good for my customer. I can go ahead, reach out to that listing agent directly, and then ask them questions about how we can set up a showing. You know, I'd like to see it this weekend. And how can we get something scheduled? We can do that. Also, we can see the owner's information. This is really great as well. So we can see this property is owned by a Pam S. Lane. If I was to go ahead and click that, that would show me all of the homes that have Pam S. Lane on the deed. Again, all these may not be owned by the same Pam Lane, but this could help us see if there are multiple properties owned by the same person. But as we scroll down, this is where we're gonna start to see where ProSearch separates itself from the competition or being just part of going to just Zillow or Realtor.com. This is what's gonna show you where the real details are. So again, first we've got our basic detail information. Uh, this is typical stuff that's put in by the listing agent. We've got our property description, um, our other details of the property. Again, we can see the listing agent, their phone number, so we can go ahead, we can contact them directly. But here's where we get into a little bit extra information that isn't always available everywhere else. Here we can see some public record information. We got some census tract info. We also have the property tax information and then the property history. So right here is where we'd be able to see history of this property if it's been listed in the past. So this listing looks like it's only been listed once, probably in the past 10 years. So let's see if we can go back and find another property that's got a little bit more history to it. Perfect. So here's another property. Again, we've got all the photos on the top. We've got the listing agent on here. If we wanted to see the owner, we could click their name and see if they've got other properties in the area. We've got the basic information as it was added by the agent some more photos, but we are really wanting to focus on is the property history. This is awesome. So here we can go and we can see information for this hist property dating all the way back to 2007, 12 years ago now. That just shows you how great of a tool this is. I can click this open and it's gonna show me the property description from that. We can see it sold for $23,000 in February just 2,000 less than the list price. 
But then a, a year and a half later, they listed it for $65,000. So we can see, now see those pictures from this, when this was listed. Oh, excuse me, that was uh, 2018, sorry. So it wasn't until a while after that that it was sold. So it looks like it was transferred again in 2016 for the 23,000. But two years later, they flipped it. So they must have done a whole lot of work. We can open this up. We can see all the everything that's been done. What's great about this listing archive and the history of the property is if, if a home is ever flipped, we may be able to see those before and after photos through the listing. So here again, we can see that it was listed in 2018 and it sold in December 2018 for 63. So if we wanted, we could see those photos there. And here it is now listed for 67,000 this year, just a couple weeks ago, or a couple days ago. Also cool about the brand new Pro Search is at the bottom of every listing, we're gonna see comparables and nearby listings. Not only is this gonna show us active listings, we click one of these open, red pins are gonna be active listings, the black pins are gonna show us what's been sold. So this is a great way to easily pull up comparables just with this map. And each time I click a new property, it's gonna keep my original property open, but it's gonna open up a new one on a new tab. So here we can now we can scroll down to the bottom of this property. We can see info dating back 14 years on here, July of 2005, so a long time ago. And that looks like that was the last time it was sold, well, the first time on here. Sold in 2005. Again, it was sold in 2017. Again, this looks like it was another flip. They sold it. So here we go. Let's take a look. This is a great example. So here's how that house looked in 2016. All right, let's, let's remember the photo of this bathroom here. All right, purple cabinets in the kitchen with some wallpaper on the border there. Now let's see what it looked like in 2017 when they doubled the price. They didn't give us any interior photos. All right. Here we go. Here's what it looked like when it was listed earlier this year. Well, the, I can tell you the house certainly looks different. Let's see if we can find a picture of that kitchen. Oh, wow. Night and day. Certainly no purple cabinets here. We don't have that wallpaper border. So this is a great example with how powerful ProSearch is. So here's what that kitchen looks like now. And here's what it looked like before. So they really put their effort into flipping this home. And of course, we can see why it was originally listed for 32,000, then being sold for 78. Another great way of expanding your business and growing your business in 2020 is, of course, prospecting for homes. So what we can do is let's just stick right here is where we are. And we're going to just type in off market into my search. And what this is going to do is this is now going to go ahead and show me houses that have recently been taken off the market. And what we can do is we can go ahead and start prospecting for these properties. Again, going back and scrolling down and seeing those recently expired listings. So here's a property. It was listed for 47.9 earlier this summer, but a couple of months ago that listing expired. Hasn't been renewed since, so what can we do? Well, we can see that uh, this is owned by Tony and Sandra. Maybe we send them a postcard. We just go to the house and knock on the door. Um, maybe we put on our investigator hat, see if we can find a phone number for them online. Maybe we give them a call. We can tell them, hey, we saw your house. Looks like you had it on the market earlier this year, uh, but it didn't sell. Um, I'd love to help you out. I'd love to see if I can help you sell it as well. Now here's where your My State MLS membership can also become a marketing tool. If you're going to remain part of your local MLS, but you join My State MLS as an additional marketing tool, you can go to homeowners and potential clients and say, I'll put your listing into the local MLS just like everyone else that you've met with will do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go above and beyond that. I'm going to go ahead and put your listing into a nationwide system that's going to get your listing not only in front of brokers across the entire country, but I have the ability to also potentially get your listing out in front of buyers around the world. 
if you'd sign up for my state MLS and you just get one extra listing from that membership and that property that you get, that listing sells, that commission of that one single sale will pay for your membership for multiple years. So we make it very easy to sign up for my state MLS. We make it very cost effective. So if you want to use it as a secondary MLS, by all means, you can do that. And you can use that as that listing tool to go ahead and get more listings, beat out the competition by offering something that your competition may not have. Another great use for ProSearch, again, is going to be helping your relocating customers find a home. So again, I'm here in upstate New York. We just had a bunch of snow yesterday. My my client said, you know what? We are done with that. Those That last storm was enough for us. We're moving to Florida. All right, well, come on to the office. Instead of just saying, good luck with that search, I can say, come down to my office. We'll do a search and let's see if we can find a house for you. They say, all right, let's see what we can find. We're gonna find something in Miami, Florida between 450,000 and 475 they want to have at least three bedrooms so the the grandkids can come down and visit so they're going to want at least three baths as well and now we've gone ahead and we've narrowed down our search results now what we can do is we can start looking at some of these properties they say oh wow that's perfect we love it so what I can do is I can look up Lauren I can look her up online see if I can find her email or better yet I'm just going to go ahead and give her a call and say, hey, Lauren, I've got some clients here in New York. They're looking to move down to Miami. I'd love to refer them to you. Are you interested? What agent is going to turn away a referral that they didn't have to do any work for? They, I came to them. They didn't have to do anything extra. So, of course, they're going to want to get that, that new customer, that new client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my resources and forms page, and I'm going to say, I've got a agent referral form. I'd love to you know, give you their information. So let me go ahead. I'm going to send you an agent referral agreement. She's going to say, okay, I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to then send it over to Lauren. She's going to fill it out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put her in touch with my clients that are here up in New York. They're going to fly down. She's going to show them around town, help them find a house. If they buy the home through her, she's going to collect her commission. And then because I've done that referring and I gave her that business, I'm going to then get my referral. So everyone's going to win. My customers are getting out of New York. They bought a house in Miami. Lauren just got new customers. She sold the home. She got her commission. And then I also come out on top because I collect my referral fee. And then my customers, who knows, might even tell their friends that are here in New York, say, hey, check in with Dave. He'll help you find a house down here. He's really great to work with. So we make it very easy to do all of these things right with my state MLS. And 2020 is just going to be even bigger than that. So who can join my state MLS today? Well, the answer is everyone. It's going to be brokers without MLS coverage, those agents without MLS coverage. Again, there are hundreds of MLSs across the entire country, but your MLS may not cater to your needs. Your closest MLS may be 100 miles away, maybe two hours to get there. So it may be beneficial to you to maybe go ahead and join my state MLS at a much more cost effective rate, which gives you more budgeting for other things that may help you grow your business. Maybe instead of putting all your budget towards your MLS dues, you're going to be able to save some money with my state MLS. So that way you can pay for Facebook ads. You can pay for print ads. You can put your money through other things that may be more beneficial to you. Lastly, my state MLS is perfect for those brokers and agents looking to grow their business. And of course, those wanting an edge in 2020. So the last thing that we didn't discuss is how much does all of this cost? Well, I'm here to tell you that my state MLS, very cost effective. I've been saying it the entire time. Membership is just $35 a month or $320 for a full year. With monthly billing, there's no long-term commitment. It just automatically renews each month, kind of like a Disney Plus subscription. What you'll do is you'll sign up online, create your account, and then your, your membership will renew on the same date. So if you sign up today, uh, today being, say, the 18th, your account would then renew on the 18th of every month. With yearly billing, you can save up to $100 over that monthly rate by committing to that full year up front. So we give you two options, which, again, a lot of local MLSs do not offer. They say you have to pay for the full year up front, no questions, where we give you the ability to decide if you want monthly billing, and you can pace yourself out, cancel at any time, so you don't have to worry about getting locked into anything, or you can pay for that full year upfront and enjoy the benefit of a discounted rate and not have to worry about monthly bills. On top of all of that, we also offer office pricing as well. 
So if you're a broker that's tuning in today and you love what you see and you'd love to be able to use this as a recruiting tool or give it to all of your agents, we offer discounted office rates. And the way that works is we give accounts to everyone in your office and you just pay a bundled discounted rate. We determine your price based on a sliding scale. So if you've got X number of agents, your price will be X amount of dollars. What's also cool about office pricing is we can adjust your pricing accordingly. So as you continue to grow your business in the new year, we'll adjust your pricing accordingly. Your business grows, so does the amount of savings that you're going to be able to take advantage of. So without further ado, if you have any other questions, please give me a call at 888-769-7657 or email me dave at mystatemls.com. And of course, if you are interested in that office pricing, uh, you can always reach me at 888-769-7657 or by email at dave at mystatemls.com. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.